Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am here finally for the December Beacon Book Box unboxing. This holiday season was bananas for shipping for like everything. So I don't think Beacon was excluded from that with like waiting for the items and then shipping their own items and it was a whole thing. But it's here, which means Christmas is continuing. Like that's that's all I'm taking it as. So without further ado, let's get into it because I'm pretty sure this box is featuring the item that I've been so anxiously awaiting. So let's get into it. It's this item. I'm so excited for it. Okay. So the theme is family secrets. Alrighty, let's just get to this. This is what I've been anxiously awaiting because this is supposed to be the final, oh, Reese's on it. The final mug of the Akatar mug series. I love it. I love that Reese is included on it. This is amazing. So all of these mugs have featured Feyre on it. This one finally includes Reese and Feyre looking all snuggly and adorable. I also like that it has the moon pattern along the bottom of this mug. I know it's super reflective for you guys, uh, but it's so fitting because that's like her tattoo down her back. So this one um, is technically the like A Court of Frost and Starlight mug. They did one for each of the books. So this is the final one of the four part series of the mugs and I love it. Look how cute they are. They're all snuggling. Okay. Okay. And then that means this is our final ornament of the year and look how festive these colors are. It is a symbol and symbols will always wield power of their own, which I'm guessing is what is going to be on here. What is that from? I feel like I should know what that's from, but I don't. That's what the ornament looks like. I feel like I finally learned that this is the easiest way to show it to you guys, leaving it in the box, but it's a glass etched ornament. Uh, what? What is that one from? Oh my God, it's Crescent City. Good Lord. Am I a mass fangirl or am I a mass fangirl? I'm clearly not. I mean, that makes sense now because it does look like a crescent and also crescent city and the seas and you know things so we will just add both of those items to the never-ending sarah j mass shrine that is my entire library okay let's see next we have ooh, we have a dish this says the best lies come from the truth by saba tahir so this is obviously going to be ember in the ashes inspired but this is like this is a dish this is a dishy dish dish i don't know what i would do with this though if i'm being honest where would i put this that wouldn't put it at risk of breaking because I've got pets. This is gonna have to go like in the kitchen for sure. Okay, so we have that. And then we have, oh, we're already down to the book and there's paper goodies in the bottom. So the book sleeve is very festive for the winter season. I kind of like that it's just a snowflake themed one and it's not a specific holiday themed one. I like that I will be able to use this for the remaining months of the winter season when it's white inside. What is the book? What is that? Eris, apparently. Fortune Favors the Bold by Diana Ma. I haven't heard of this. What is this? I love the cover of it. We've got a signed book plate. And then we have, I'm assuming this is an author letter on the back of this. What is this even about? Behind every great family lies a great secret. There's one rule in Gemma Huang's family, never under any circumstances set foot in Beijing. But when Gemma, an aspiring actress, lands her first break, a lead role, which just so happens to be filming in the Chinese capital, she heads to LAX without looking back. Oh man. So she's going to Beijing, apparently, anyway. Of course, there's also the chance of discovering just exactly why she's forbidden from entering the city in the first place. When she arrives in Beijing, she's instantly mobbed by paparazzi. She quickly realizes she may as well be the twin to Alyssa Chua. I don't know how to say that. I apologize for butchering that. Uh, one of the most notorious young socialites in Beijing. Oh my gosh, and she uncovers a legacy that her parents have spent their lives protecting her from. I'm guessing it's a long lost twin sister. I don't know. But look at this cover page. The art style of this book is beautiful. Like the chapter headers. This is so cool. This is a beautiful book. I love this book. Oh, look at it underneath. That's a beautiful book. I'm excited to read that. That sounds really good. I might save this for a future month in the page turners. Uh, book club. So that is the December Beacon Book Box. Actually, wait, nope, hold on, hold on. I've got things at the bottom. Um, we have an ebook download discount thingamajinger in here, and we also have a 
like a, a text art print and on the back is the recipe card that they included in every box. Um, this is Day's White Bean Chicken Chili. Oh, that sounds great. I should make chili. It's a good day to make chili. Maybe I will make chili. I've got a recipe to follow now. So, okay, that is everything that came in the December Beacon Book Box. Thank you so much to Beacon for sending this my way. As always, I will have all of their information and the rep code and whatnot down in the description for you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video.